Welcome to Ron and Nick's Best Fan Podcast. Podcast yeah, that you, you can't, cannot live, you with can't live without it. Okay, I, last week I was going, Here stop, 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 stop. Okay. This is the Bible study. Don't don't turn it off. Uh, and I got scolded. <laughs> yeah, and Fancy scolded you too. Yeah, uh, yeah that's what I'm saying. Fan, fancy that's member of I'm our tribe. About. Fancy's yeah. a member of our tribe. Oh, tell, tell Nick <laughs> that, that, that the Bible study, blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay, Fancy, I got it. That's okay? not very nice. Well, it's not nice because I got scolded twice. I got see. scolded on on the show <laughs> by Ron, and now I get scolded again. Right, but listen, you are right. I'm uh, not going to be apologetic. Let me look at this. Listen, I've been in so many Bible studies that haven't worked. Right. That's what it is. I'm scarred. Well, they're, they're lame. <laughs> and they don't talk about the Holy Spirit. The Holy That's Spirit what wrote, it is. The That's Holy what Spirit wrote the Bible, but he's not allowed to come in and teach. So he's like, you stay outside while we teach this thing that you wrote, but don't talk to us while we're teaching this thing that you, which is like crazy That's, Yeah, absolutely. because he loves us and he wants to have a relationship with us, which is why he wrote this stuff. Exactly right. right. So thanks, and, Fancy. And, and Fancy did not, I've no, She didn't Fancy do it in, is, that, in that tone? Fancy has never, look, I'm reading over her text again and it's like, you tell uh, Nick. I want the balance of talking about the Holy Spirit and reading scripture expectantly perfect that's perfect that's phrasing right there good, yes. it keeps us as listeners grounded and proves your commitment to stay grounded in the word of god How do you and, argue with that and you, you can't argue with that it's, that's exactly thank right. you so thank you fancy thank you uh, to our other uh family members tribe members who are joining the tribe uh, you know week by week we we our last episode we took uh the, the episode and, and went uh and went rogue which we always go rogue because oh, yeah, we're yeah, always yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, spirit yeah, and yeah, yeah. talked about tribe and we want you to be part of a tr- our, our our tribe. Uh, up front today, I want to tell you about uh, this our new book uh, that we're offering, that is conversation starters with the Holy Spirit, Proverbs, Parables, and Prayers. You can find this uh, on our website. Um, well, and uh, yeah, we, we've it's already, a beautiful book. We've actually already sold out the first printing, the first. <laughs> Um, which sounds fancy, but no, I mean, you, you bought a lot. Yeah, and uh, but we would love for you yeah. to have this and give it to people and help them start conversations with the Holy Spirit. It's it's all about the Holy Spirit. Go to our website. Go to the website. Go w- to, w- what? Friend dot com. That's it. It's right there. So oh, we screwed up last week. Hold hold. We, we, oh, we're talking about. The oh, well, well, hold on, hold on okay, one okay. second before you before okay. you go there. Right. I, I want to just. I want to go to this so that we own it on record. Okay. Like Nick's Ooh. been doing Nick, Nick's been doing this thing at Orpax. I think is fascinating. If you're local here and you've not been to Orpax within the last five years, <laughs> come down. Like inside joke. Inside joke. Um, uh, come down and get dinner at Orpax. But on, on social media around here, um, Nick is doing these spots where he's talking about. Uh, the history of Norfolk and, right. and because you grew up here it's your hometown and I love that I love the sense of community I love that Orpax is a Orpax is Norfolk it's, it, it really is like no joke part of what na- makes Norfolk worth driving to for me and it has like thank you um, and thank so you. what are these spots about what do you what, well, what made you think about doing this listen we're, we've been around 60 years uh, and I'm just trying to this is it's not meant to be an advertising I just want people to know uh, that we are around, but how uh, our history, Norfolk's history, kind of ties around uh, Orpax and from where Orpax is located, what Orpax means. My dad working at a, a bread shop that what used to be called Mary Jane Bakery, and how he worked there, and then he bought Orpax. So I'm just tying the community, history, our past, blah blah. Our next episode is going to be uh, a testimony of of. The Hard Times Orpax ad. It's really... Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. It's, well, it's, that's going to be good. Yeah. It's a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but we couldn't make it any shorter. And it's just a testimony to thanking the people that helped us get through a very, very, and you know about this, a very rough time uh, in our history. And it was, uh, hmm. it was are we going to survive or are we going to close? Hmm. And... You know, listen, I want to I point something out. Like, so a lot of people go, well, you... 
So this is funny about us. It's duck or pucker. Some people are like, hey, I love you guys bantering. Like, I'm not yeah. sure that this is ban. This doesn't feel like bantering to me. Um, but I, I want you guys to understand something. Like, this is not banter. Like, this, this actually matters. Like, yeah. to disconnect the Holy Spirit from any part of your life is to cut life off. So when we're kidding around, we're kidding around with the Holy Spirit. When we're talking about our work, we're talking about with the Holy Spirit. When we're talking about our play, we're talking about it with the Holy Spirit. There is no place where you disinvite the Holy Spirit and increase your life. It just doesn't work that way. It, if, you, if you leave him out, you've left out life. And so talking about uh, you know, what you're doing at, at Orpax has actually got me in the frame of mind where I want to go, okay, what, what are we doing uh, as we do this podcast? And things have clarified over the last three years. Yes. Um, we've added the Bible study, right. which is kind of like our midweek uh, connect point with you guys Correct. out there in the tribe. Uh, and uh, teaching you uh, and teaching ourselves how to interact with the Bible in the Holy Spirit, which I think is something that's sorely lacking yeah. uh, in, in the wider church community, Christian community. And it reminded me, your spots and talking more about this reminded me of what Reagan did. Uh, and look, I don't care about your politics, duck or pucker, but here's a fact. Reagan um, lost the nomination for the... Um, I can't remember. I think Ford. Ford, yes. Yeah, Ford takes it in 76. Jimmy Carter ends up getting elected. Uh, and Reagan, who had been the governor of California and also a movie star, goes out and starts making these little two-minute, I think there were two-minute radio Correct. spots, right? Correct. And he would come on um, and he would just talk about whatever was on his mind. Exactly. It and, could be anything. Right. And Reagan had a very strong idea about uh, economics. He had an idea about you know American exceptionalism. He had a, he had a lot of ideas. And again, does don't you don't have to agree with Reagan's ideas. But here's what actually happened: as he espoused his ideas and was just given two minute little shots over the course of the next four years, something started to happen. And by the time 1980 came along and, and the nomination, Republican nomination at that you know, for, for that party, he gets the nod and he wins. He won the, the greatest landslide. Like you can't even imagine these days in our divided yeah. country. He won 40, 49, 49 states. Yeah. And then the second time he, he won by 48. Yeah. And there's a famous quote that everyone comes into the office right after the election and he puts everyone in the Oval Office and he goes, listen, I want to know what happened with the two states that we lost. <laughs> right, right. It's kind of, kind of funny. Again, so why am I saying all that and why are we taking the time to out of you know Bible study time to, to talk about this? I want you guys to understand we're going to keep hitting this and hitting this and hitting this. We're building a, we're building a movement. Yes. This is our little 20 minutes. It's actually our little 40 minutes a week to interact with you this way. But we, I want to talk, I don't want you to say we, we're, when you say we, we're not talking about me and you. Yeah, I, when that time I was, but 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 I mean, because we, you and okay. me, interacting with them, but we, they, we need them. Yeah, we need you to interact with us. We a tribe doesn't work with one way communication. That's not the idea. We want you to interact with us, interacting with the Holy Spirit, all of us interacting with Him, and we want to build a movement. And these are the, th this is part of where we're talking about the things that matter to us, a, a movement of the Holy Spirit, a community of the Holy Spirit, a tribe of the Holy Spirit that, that interacts with the scriptures with the Holy Spirit, that interacts with our work with the Holy Spirit, that interacts as friends like you and I do with the Holy Spirit, that the best friend that we're talking about <laughs> in Ron and Nick's Best Friend podcast on our mugs here, as you see, is the Holy Spirit. And we want more friendship with him to, enter, to impact us in more areas of our life so that we might bring change about in this world because we believe the world is upside down again and it needs to be set right side up and it isn't going to be done through military might or political power uh, or man maneuverings uh, or education. I, I should throw that one in there. A lot of people think we're going to educate ourselves out of this mess and it isn't going to work. It needs to be a person, and the and the best person uh, that's ever been on earth lives in us, and we can have access to him and his voice. I want to just preface with this, okay? This conversation that you just heard for the past ten minutes, 
uh, is because we had just a conversation this morning and even yesterday and coalesced, 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 coalesced a, a thought that we know is from the Holy Spirit, no doubt about it, and gave us finally some clarity on what we're doing, the direction we're going. Uh, if in, Even in the first podcast that we just did, I had a subject matter, but we went off script, okay? This is all intentional, not intentional, but following the Spirit. So there are a lot of exciting things coming, and um, I know we took now 10 minutes and 14 seconds here uh, of, of talking about this, but this is, sorry, fancy, we're not going to get too much into the No, but this is important because I started the last podcast with this statement, and it went in another direction. You're not listening to this podcast right now accidentally it's purposeful uh things that happen in your life are purposeful we're trying to in our own lives and t- preaching about it talking about it to get people more uh, engaged engaged yeah in the yeah. things that are happening every day this is not a manipulation for to listen to this okay it's just telling you you're listening to this you're being allowed to listen to it not by accident so Whatever you're hearing the Spirit tell you about what Ron just said and what I just said, follow it because there's some really great things there. I believe are going to happen here. Yeah, and I'm excited. I, this is the most excited I've ever been, honestly, Ron. Mm, yeah, I mean, I really mean that. Yeah, I am too. Uh, it's clear now of the direction we want to go. It's getting clear. That's right, for sure. Right, clear. Like to build a tribe that changes the world. That's what we're about. And uh, and we all go and do the job. Oh yeah. Well, we all yeah, all yeah, interacting with each exactly other in the Holy right. Spirit. There's there's a community aspect to it and Correct. we we need to connect with you guys and we're trying to figure out more ways to do that. You can do it right now. Uh you know, at, at our website, you can find more information and and, and ways to connect www.ronandnicksbestfriend.com. Uh, you can even uh, text at 757-676-9281. You can text us 757-676-9281. You can email us at Ron and Nick's BFF at gmail.com. Uh, please, we yeah. want to hear from you. We want to interact with you. Uh, we're going to actually, uh, and I'll go ahead and say this, we're going to find a way to go live with you guys. We're, there's the, the, the technology exists. Uh, we're going to start, uh, I think we're going to start a weekly connect point where we go on Zoom, we invite you in, and we actually wow. see each other and have a conversation. Um, there, I said it. Wow, uh, that was pretty big. You said that. Yeah, I've been thinking about it, uh, but I think wow. that I want there to be a, wow. an interactive connect point where we, where we can see you and you can see us and we can interact. I mean, this is this one way stuff, um, which isn't. I mean, it's not one way between us, but and we know the Spirit can anoint things and sit on things, and so you're interacting with Him, which is what we want. We want to do that live. We want to do that live, and so. There you go. There's an, there's another thought. So let's go to the Bible study. Let's go to the Bible study. Okay, so we did the, finish the Bible study last week, and then I think you called me the day after or two days later, and he goes, "Man, we missed it." Mm. And I'm going, "What do you mean we missed it?" And I'm, I'll let Ron talk about it, and we're going to go back to it. But so we're going to backtrack a little bit from where we're at. Tell them what we do, what the podcast, what the Bible study is all about. Luke, this this Bible study that we're in, which by the way, you should go back and check out our Luke 11 by our John 11 Bible study. Every single verse in John 11 went through it verse by verse with the Holy Spirit. Fantastic! It's on the website. Uh, great tool. You should. You, you you should access that and actually maybe even do that Bible study with somebody. It would be great. Um, I, but I said that the premise of this is that we're looking through the Gospel of Luke. We're going, now we're going thought by thought and we're, and we're saying this. Jesus is the only person in the history of the world who knows who he is and never forgets. Jesus is the only person that ever was born who knows who he is and never forgets. And everybody in the story, everybody in the story in the Gospel of Luke are trying to figure out who Jesus is and they're also trying to figure out who they are. So what we're asking the Holy Spirit is to put his fingers on and point out where there are identity messages as we read through the Gospel of Luke. Like, is that about identity? Where is this? Is this person, who's this person? Who's that person? Who's trying to be somebody? Um, And I realized... As soon as we, as soon as we finished last week, basically I was like, we're talking about Mary. We've talked about Zechariah. We've talked about Elizabeth. We talk about Herod. 
Uh, we've even talked about Luke, who's yeah. writing this, right. and all these different identities. And uh, and here <laughs> we we jumped over the the primary person in the whole story where he's introduced. All right, don't tell him. Just let's okay. Go to it. So Luke chapter one and verse thirty. Uh, this is the uh, let's let's yeah let's go to thirty. This is where the in, the angel is interacting with Mary, telling Mary what's getting ready to happen. Okay. And the angel said to her, "Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child, and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High." The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. So, so I kind of, believe it or not, even with the premise of the Bible study, I managed to mm. speed bump over the identity of Jesus Christ. Mm. Because this is, this is the first time... Mm. Mm. Imagine if you had gotten the gospel of Luke and you had never read it before, um, and, and maybe you haven't. Maybe there are people out there who have never read the gospel of Luke before and don't know this story. And this is the first place that you're interacting at all with, with, the, with the book that the Holy Spirit wrote. You would go, this is where Jesus is introduced into the story. He's told explicitly. Now, up until this time, like you can go back into Isaiah, there are passages that said the virgin will be with child and things like this. And, and you go, okay, back then people were still as confused right. as Mary is. Like, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. That's not possible. Yeah. Uh, and now you're getting a very explicit yeah. introduction. Mary, you're going to be pregnant. And you're going to, here's the thing, you're going to have a son. Okay, so he's a son. And this is the kind of son that you're going to have. Okay, listen. To, we st I don't know if we said this or not earlier. In the identity Bible study, here's what we're asking you to do. What's your identity? Mm. As you interact with the Holy Spirit, who, who are you? And you say this every time. Like, not just a son of God or a daughter of God, right. but what kind? Right. There's more, there's another, there's another, there's name. another name for there's you. There's more names. Like what kind of son of God or daughter of God are you? Listen, did you hear that? Because it's kind of hard to believe that you actually have another name that he's calling you by. And, right. And maybe one day we, we really dig into trying to help people, but I think it's a good start just to think and pray and say, let me see that book. What's let, the name? Let, just. If you want a good start on this, I'm holding this up to the camera. This is a book called Living Fearless by Jamie Winship. Very, very, very helpful book um, that uh, we have interacted with. It's been very helpful to us um, asking questions about how to get to authentic primary identity. Um, what do I say every time? If you don't know who you are, you don't know how to act. Right. If you know who you are, you know how to act. If you don't know who you are, all you have is an act. And, I, and, when, and when you get that name and that name comes by, uh, when you hit your sweet spot in life and you know, oh, this is my name, this is what I do, uh, you walk in with tremendous confidence because oh. you know God has empowered you and made you specifically for whatever the name he gives you uh, is. And that has happened in my life uh, since I've, figured it out and I'm not going to even tell you what it is it's not important we've mentioned it before it's not important uh, I don't want to taint what God may tell you um, yeah well let's talk about that too did you figure it out you, you did not figure I it out I did not figure it out no. he told you <laughs> yeah and, it, so, and, and you know how you know how I know he told me because it was the last thing that I ever thought I would say I, I wouldn't I couldn't even you know how you kind of think of something and go well it could be this and this and this oh, it has to be one of these five or six okay? there's <laughs> none of them okay <laughs> right and so when I hear it, I kind of go, oh. And then when I hear it, I go, oh, oh, that does make sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I so it's it. kind of a reverse thing. It's like you wouldn't have thought about it, but then when you do think about it, you go, oh, no, that's right. You know, that's the So you actually had your same moment. Like like Mary is getting an introduction. Like, okay, this is who he is, and this is who Jesus is. She's being told. And um, 
And we've, we, you can be told. All right, so here's my question on this. I really don't understand when it says the Lord will give you, and explain it to me because I see this periodically, give him the throne of his father David. I have no clue what's that, what that's talking about. The throne of his father David. Can you help me with that? Well, there's a lot of implications to that. Um, David, uh, th this, there's, some, there's prof prophetic words in here. Um, there is uh, the, the, the line of David that, uh, that was supposed to be on the throne and uh, in the continuity of rule um, over Israel. Um, it's, it's kind of an odd thing to say, like, okay, Jesus right. is, is David his father. I mean, that's in the sense of ancestral fathers, you know, like you could say uh, in, in, our, in our worldview that Adam and Eve are our father and mother. You know, you could say that right. you, in, in Narnia, uh, the children, the, the, the children in Narnia are called the sons of the sons and daughters of Adam and Eve um, because they're humans. So I guess in the sense that he is in the line of David, uh, that you're saying he's saying that uh, you're 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 down from the tribe of Judah, the and and the lineage of David. Um, I'm sure that there's more to that. I you would just pick the one thing out of there well, that's like the, the I most see, I obscure hear the thing time. to me <laughs> that, I, that I don't no, understand well, myself. Okay, but but I yeah. And he will it, reign over Jacob's descendants. Yeah, yeah. I mean. It's this, do do you not want to talk about the idea that he will be great and he'll be called the son of the most high? <laughs> okay. well, uh, I mean, uh, I stumped you. Stumped I, me. I stumped you. you. You stumped me. Yeah. So you're pissing me off. Okay, yeah. that's fine. There you go. In our Bible study, you stumped the chump. Uh, that I think there's the same thing. They're kind of like the same thing. Is um, is this Jacob is in the same lineage? Okay, so it's the house of Jacob is the house of Israel because Jacob's turn, you know, his name becomes Israel. Ah. Um, ah. And so he's saying he's going to reign over the uh, reign over the the Israelites forever, and his kingdom will never end. So you're getting the sense right now, you know, about the identity of Jesus, which yeah. obviously is like a huge, huge identity, that it's rooted. It's it's not just this. Um, and this is the fascinating thing about God to me anyway, is like, it isn't just an eternal kingdom. It's an eternal kingdom that's attached to the, the history of God with his people. It's like, it's both. And that's the thing that you're wow. going to find out about, about the king. The king is both a man and God. And so right here, you're getting the human lineage. Right. And also being told he's the son of the most high. So he's God and he's a man. And it's being told to you right here. It's personal. Yeah, and it's personal. That's a good, that's the word that I was looking for. It's personal at the same time. It's all of the above. It's personal. No, I get it's it eternal. Now. now I see it. It's like, yeah, he's one of you. Right, right. Um, and yet, and yet, he's not. So it's a kingdom that is wow. an eternal kingdom and it. a kingdom that's in this world. And it's like, Jesus is being introduced as an amphibian. You know, like amphibians can live on land and in, 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 and in the water, analogy, right? Yes. And, and Jesus is both from the beginning. He's amphibious. He is God and he is man. It's fascinating. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Ron and Nick's Best Friend Podcast, a show for anyone who needs a friend. Join us every week right here as we talk about who? Our best friend, the Holy Spirit. And if you want more information about him or the show, you can find it at www.ronandnicksbestfriend.com. And don't forget to subscribe.